Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at wiring an ultrasonic proximity sensor to the Click PLC. And last time we unboxed it, now we're going to take our UK1F and actually wire it to our Click that's complete with our discrete output as well as our analog output. So detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start your video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen here, you see that we have our, our UK1 sensor, which is our ultrasonic. It sends out sound waves and comes back again. And we are going to connect this to our PLC. So we'll have our wiring di diagram like this, which you'll see my brown, black, white, and blue wire. So let's take a look at our actual setup here. And what you'll see is here's my uh, UK one here. And we have it wired in to our click PLC. There's our CPU with ethernet and we have an analog um, in output point and our power supply and then back at the back here we have our target that we're going to uh, target for our sensor so the proxy the um, ultrasonic proximity sensor has four wires as we can see on our diagram here and i'll just move that over a bit you see our brown is our plus and our brown right here on our wire is going to our plus voltage of our power supply from our click. Then we have our our blue wire, which is our ground. And so our blue wire actually goes to zero volts of our input, our, our analog, as well as all of these zero points are connected to our power supply, which goes back to the blue here. Also, you'll see my common point here for my input, C1, is also connected back to my zero volts. Then I have my white wire, which is my switching wire to my input of the PLC. So this block here represents the actual input to the PLC itself. So the PLC acts as the load for this sensor. So this is uh, my white wire and you'll see it's going to X1, which is my first input. And then you'll see my black wire going to my the, the circle with the arrow through it, which is actually represented by the analog input. So my black wire goes to my channel one of my analog signal. So that's my wiring diagram. And because you can see that we're actually pulling it up to the positive voltage, this is positive switching or sourcing a load or PMP style switching for your PLC. And you can see here, here's my wiring diagram for my click. So you can see it's C1 can be wired either way, NPN or PNP. NPN meaning negative switching or syncing a load. Then we have our analog. And our analog, as you can see, one important point is that all the zero volt terminals are connected internally. So when I put a zero volt onto there, it's the same as one here, which is why we connected the blue wire right here into our zero volts. So if we look at the sensor itself, here is um, what it's going to look like. So we'll look at this area right here. So we program in P1 and P2. P1 is my first point. P2 is my second point. And you can see my sensor is located right here. I put a target in there and I can teach it P1. Then I put a the, move the target and I, I teach it P2. And normally when it comes uh, from the factory, this sensor, it will be normally open, but we can make it normally close as well. So on the actual unit here, the actual sensor, we actually have a switch. And this switch, um, located right here will actually program our unit itself so i hit and hold that switch with a target present so i'll move my target here we'll leave it about there and we can say okay that's going to be my um, 20 milliamp 
So I'll hit the, the button and hold it for a minute or a second, sorry. And then it will come on, off and then on again. And now it's set for my 20 milliamps. I now move my target to where I want my um, zero milliamps. And then I hit that button again. When I do, it goes off and it will flash five times quickly, indicating that now it's been reprogrammed. So now I go from here back to here and the output will be on during that duration and off the other times. So if I were to call up my software, you can see I have my sensor here. This is my click PLC software and it's driving out an output, the first output to indicate when I'm in range. So I'm in range up until it goes out again. There we go. So if I want to see my analog, what I can do is I can do my um, monitor and then system monitor. And right here, we can see our analog voltage as our physical value. So right now it's at 9.7 and I can move it up and you can see it goes right down to zero again. And as long as it's within that range, the output will be on. So the other thing is, is since I can program my analog input, I can also scale my analog input if I wish. So I close that down. We can go to setup, system configuration. And under system configuration, if again, like an analog, we can go in here and currently right now I have zero to uh, or 10 to zero volts DC represent 100 to zero just to give you a percentage, but we can change that to any real world um, output that we want or scaling range that we want. And once we're done, we can then send that over to the PLC um, to get registered. So we'll just hit cancel on that. So for more information on that, you'll see links below to get you back at the series of our click series that will explain all of the analog and get an analog in and out of the PLC. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a link in the comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our two free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.